Hi, this is BB. Um, something that for the last two days of she's been like she's getting me really, really angry all the time, like just about anger. Today I sent out an email campaign. Of course, I got the usual same set of people. I could tell you the names because I'm familiar with the names. It's, it's not. I don't think they're legit emails. I think they're just somebody, you know, just just to to make it look like that somebody's reaching out to me. Somebody's responding to the email campaign that I sent, which I think is bogus. I think most of the things are bogus. At this point, I don't know. I really don't know what to do because I for the last I had zero cl clients. And now Google is telling me that my page is showing up as a 304 error. It can have up to from a, from one to 200, but not 304. So my webmaster has to help us to stop that. I don't know what that means. I have to call now, I guess, the, the web hosting company and have them fix it. I don't know what that means. Um, first, they were saying destination not found. And now they're saying that um, there's a 304 error. So I, I don't know. Maybe I can salvage the account. Maybe I cannot. I don't know. But even if I do salvage it, she's still not leaving it alone. Let me tell you something. I'm accustomed to getting two or three clients a day sometimes. I would get in a week. It's on a slow week. I would get at least three people. There have been times when like two weeks would go by and nothing would happen. And then I just amp up my, um, put a little more money into my daily budget. And then I make some, and then clients start to reach out. This was back in California when she was my neighbor. I've always been very successful with my website, like very successful. Um, another thing is I used to, I had some stuff. I used to do drop shipping on eBay. Drop shipping on eBay. One morning, I woke up and the drop all the all the I had of um I think over two hundred and fifty items. Now drop shipping. Let me sum up what drop shipping is to you. Drop shipping is opening up an eBay account. You got your PayPal set up. You got your eBay. Now they're taking other forms of payment too, not just eBay. Not just PayPal. They've severed from PayPal. It's the same parent company, but the two have severed in, in, in just being that, being the only payment method. They're taking credit cards now and debit cards, which they weren't doing at the time. And this was in 2017. I woke up and at like two o'clock in the morning. Oh, let me continue what drop shipping is. It's a... Uh, you open up the account and you, you list anything you can find. You can list anything you can find. You go on Amazon, you list anything. But my mentor had told me that what you do is you list them not at the sale price, at the regular price. Plus how much percentage you want to add as your, your takeaway, your take home, right? So for example, if something is worth 10 bucks, you can list it on Amazon, on eBay for like 17 bucks. They take three bucks. You still have four bucks profit because you don't have to see the item. You don't have to see the merchandise. All you do, the person buy from this list, this listing that you have on eBay. They pay you, you take that money, you take that money and you buy the item from somewhere else for ten dollars and have the, them ship it to the client so you don't even have to see all you got to do is be savvy with your computer it doesn't take much and you know i love working online i know how to make money online there's one thing i've learned i've taken the knocks on it i know how to make money online this is why this is really that she 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 hit me where it hurts the most i've Always, this has always been my dream. Now she's destroying, destroyed my business. Why would someone do this? Why would one woman do this to another woman? 
This woman has no code of ethics at all. She has no code of ethics. She doesn't, she doesn't like, there's something, I think she's more of a man than her boyfriend. It's like she's the man in that family. She has to be. Because, you know, men have this thing where it's a man's world, you know, the little woman doesn't, you know, it doesn't matter how liberated they are, there's always a hierarchy. The male is always a little above the female. It's only people who are very, very enlightened that they just, you know, they, they're just interested in having the better opinion, whether it's theirs or hers. They just want better solutions to everyday problems that come up. This is the way life should be. If everybody could adopt that attitude and stop trying to be the grand poob, I think most relationships would be better. Because I may have a kick-ass idea while he doesn't. Or he may have a kick-ass idea that I don't. And if we stop, get past the power struggle, the male-female roles, then we just work the idea and get on with life. You know, and of course, this is coming from the woman who doesn't have uh, a, a mate right now. So great idea. Okay. But I'm just saying, in theory, it sounds really fantastic. Um, it's like I'm, my head is hurting because all day I've been screaming at the top of my lungs. And I woke up that one at the middle of the night. I checked my eBay account. Now, why did I wake up at that time? I don't know. I woke up. I checked my eBay. All the listings were removed. And eBay closed my account. They closed my account. They, I was granted I was doing something I shouldn't have done. What I was doing was buying stuff on sale. And after a week, my two, week, two weeks passed, then somebody paid it the, the, the sale price because there was a certain percentage you would tack on and the, they paid a sale price and then next time you check for the for the list for the for the for the merchandise wherever you sourced it from and you see it's gone back up to the normal price and you have two choices then is either you lose money for the sale to go ahead or you have to refund them the payment. Now, I had a lot of refunds because I never, I, I've had cases where I've sent the item and then just pay, just given them a refund. I've had that. I had really good rapport with, with my clients. I had a really good rapport with my clients. Now, I, people are hacking me. At this point, I would have to say that they had something to do. They had a hand in that. They just, maybe they've wanted the business for themselves. They have this, this woman, I believe, she has like a tendency to believe if I'm successful, then she cannot be. Like if I'm, unless they're taking people's businesses and making some changes and selling it to people, ready-made businesses. I don't, this is a possibility that they could be doing too. Because if you're hacking, obviously this is a internet related crime. It's an internet-related crime or an internet-related crime ring. People, you know, the stamps are one thing. This is, the hacking is how they became aware of the stamps, I'm sure. But, but, you're learning to hack because you're, you're learning to, it's not ethical hacking. Because if it was ethical hacking, they would be into cybersecurity. They would be appalled at someone doing that to me or to anybody they know. They wouldn't be dishing it out and administering it and stealing people's shit. They would have a conscience. They would try to help me to secure myself. People, everybody is telling me that it's, you know, it's this, it's that, it's algorithms, changes, it's this, they're not surprised. This, they're making money online. Why is it that me, every fucking thing I do is, it's, it's not, anything wrong people are clicking on my ads obviously they're clicking on something the first time i opened this account which was about a month ago i i put the advertising two people contacted me two people two people both of them turned into clients 
what's 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 I mean is I'm not crazy though everything is designed to make us look like we're crazy I'm not crazy two of them turned into clients and none of neither one of them is disgruntled they're still my clients so why is this happening you're gonna tell me about 600 clicks about 600 clicks about two or three people would just ask stupid questions and nobody bought nobody with 600 clicks prior to 2020 june of 2020 i would have had at least with 600 at least 20 clients the minimum of 20 or more clients from that with 600 clicks 600 it's impossible in my line of work i know my niche my niche is not an ordinary niche it's a service you sell it's a service it's not like buying a physical like you're buying this packet of masks right here you see it on ebay amazon or in a store and you buy it you don't really ask questions right into the company and ask them questions about it you buy it you don't have the money now you buy it later my in my niche there's thousands of scammers out there so people are scamming people left and right in my niche so i know what people are looking for and i try my best to help them i try my best to and in in my niche the first bad review i got was in 2020 everything started in around april of 2020 uh, 21st or the 22nd and the 23rd or the 21st and 22nd when some guy named Sonny I have no idea who Sonny is wrote the same bad review twice different platforms and I challenged him I, I, I created an account and I said bring me your receipt and let's talk about this no response because he's not my client he's not my client but whatever this is I really don't care I don't care to know why, because there's nothing that they can say why to justify this. There is no justification of destroying a woman like this, no matter what I have done. If I did something inadvertently to them, well, then that makes it even worse now, does it? I'm being punished by people who have the ability to hack and to steal and to torture. Not good traits. Every trait there. It belongs in a penitentiary. Somebody did those people wrong. I don't know. If I did, it was inadvertently done. I, I don't know what I did. This is the thing. It's like I'm being punished by this woman for something I don't know. I don't understand. How, what, are you talking about torturing my body? It's not just hacking me. It's messing with me. And then putting me in this corner like, well, like, well, you've exhausted all these possibilities. Nobody believes me. Nobody believes me. That's what she wants to say. Well, nobody believes you. Nobody believes you. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Nobody believes you. This is, I can just picture her in my head doing this. What are you going to do? What are you going to say? You're so stupid. Nobody believes you. Nobody believes you. Nobody believes you. That's the general idea they want to, to, to transfer to me and to other people. That nobody believes them. That they really don't have a case. They don't have a fight. They don't have anything. Nothing like that. I just don't understand it. This has got to stop. I don't know what to do. The only thing that's left for me to do is to pick my cat up and go live at somewhere in the forest. I don't know if there's a forest around here. It's been raining recently. Because if I cannot afford to pay the rent, I will not be able to live here. I really don't know what to do. And I don't want to ask anybody for money. This is how bad things have gotten, but I will make sure that somebody knows. I will not go down without a fight. I will not go down without a fight. And they know that. This is why she sits over me. I will not go down without a fight.